Hey, this is Tom from Patient 67. We are stoked to be having a chat today about our new single, Scattered. This song is just about uh, dealing with kind of your own personal demons and navigating your way through those um, and kind of looking for that way out. It's a, it's a song I'm really proud of. Um, it's a song that means a lot to me and the band, and we just can't wait to share it with you. Please check it out now, playing on the Faction Radio and on all the streaming platforms. Hit our socials for more details. Thank you. Love it. All right. Um, question number one, how are you feeling now that Scattered is out in the world? Yeah, feeling um, feeling good. Um, I always have like a lot of mixed emotions when we were putting new music out there. Like it completely ranges all the way from like, you know, excitement, nervousness, just being genuinely kind of, you know, just elevated in general, like getting to put new music out there. But there's also the element of kind of like reaching that finish line at the end of a long project, even though it's not really the finish line, but like, the you know lead up to putting something out and like kind of the fatigue that goes with like investing so much of yourself into something you know for a period of time um and kind of like the nervousness as, as well like definitely an element of like oh i hope people like it you know we've put the video together so it's a mix it's a mix a lot of emotions um and i think you know it's a song that i i was really hoping people would respond well to and we've been really lucky that that that's been the case um i think it's kind of can be that flagship song for us where you can point people towards that um and it makes you really excited to sort of gear up for a big 2022 so yeah a great start to the year amazing all great things there um and i mean you guys as a band are definitely getting a bit of a reputation as the meme kings um but then your songs have this super heavy but relatable content talk me through what it's like to be able to play both sides yeah, I think like the thing with the memes is not like something that's just, it's just kind of happened over time. Like we've always been a band, like, you know, if you go back through our socials over the last few years, we've always been a band that's kind of lent into being that kind of like friendly neighborhood. Like, you know, we want to kind of be like, like you said, like we're just as much fans as we are musicians. Like that, that's ultimately where it starts for us. And like, I like to think of our socials like a fan page and a fan hub for people who like heavy music we just happen to make music ourselves and ultimately what i've always said to people as well is that like there's only so much we can really bang on about our band over and over again before people are like you know i think i think you need to kind of diversify yourself a little bit like we feel totally. like our music and our content and our message will speak for itself um but at the end of the day we also want to be kind of a presence in people's lives where we can as well so if people are looking to have a laugh or connect with other people who like the same music as them you know a lot of people don't have that outlet or that connection. You know, they're kind of alone in that sense. And we really sort of found our um, footing and being there for people in different ways, whether it's something as silly as having a laugh at one of our dumb memes or something we've shared or whatever, or generally being invested in the music. I think it's just good to have that presence for people. And, um, you know, I think we've evolved over time to sort of find what our audience really enjoys and like kind of lean into that, you know, it's, it's, it's good. I love it. And somehow it's like you knew that's a perfect segue into my next question um where you're talking about that connection with people um i guess how does it feel to be so raw in your heavy lyrical content is it kind of like a therapeutic release once it's out there or do you feel like you have challenges with being so vulnerable and open i, th I think lily it's definitely it's definitely a challenge because like ultimately for me like i i've always tried to you know, and the band itself is, have always tried to be authentic in the way we sort of go about things and specifically within our music. So yeah, it, it is a little bit of vulnerability. Like I don't feel super comfortable about it, I will say, but I'm comfortable like knowing that I'm sort of being honest with myself. You know, I don't, I don't love writing about things like, you know, being like, you know, having those issues with like self-worth and things like that, you know, things like addiction and things like that people don't love talking about and sort of haven't, done so in a i try to keep it metaphorical only when i have to i also like going down into the details i guess it depends on the song and kind of like what the mood of the song is and sure. all of that but yeah but i definitely don't shy away from it and i definitely think it's important um you know my favorite bands some of my favorite bands that i've had coming up have not been afraid to hold back and that was one of the pieces of advice i was given really early on is to just not kind of be afraid of putting yourself out there um and don't get me wrong yeah it, it is and I, and I know as a fan like of other music and other bands that's something i really value i think you can i think there's a line you draw where you say 
like I'm not going to just constantly like you know kind of just trauma dump on people with songs but I think there's definitely lots of occasions where you can instill that like sense of like rawness and kind of authenticity to the song where people can take their own message out of it too I've sort of tried to strike that balance that's something I've really tried to work on as a lyricist is find that middle ground while not sort of holding back you know trying to find that middle ground where it's like oh. I can give people the message but I can also kind of you know do it in a way that really stays true to who I am as well I love that um as a you know a fan in this world where a lot of lyrical content is heavy I think that's the biggest thing that I connect with is um when someone's speaking about something so largely and so out there that like maybe a lot of people have experienced and don't feel so comfortable talking about so power to you um what kind of response do you feel you get from listeners because of that heavy lyrical content I think it's definitely like an element of um you know gratitude more than anything I think people really appreciate that I think they appreciate that they've found bands and a band of our size where we're, we're not you know we're not a huge band by any means you know they feel like they can kind of connect with us on even more of a, a more of a uh you know different ways they can reach out to us we'll, we'll always respond to them and like they can be like you know this is this song helped me with this or like this song you know made me feel this and i think yeah it's an element of thankfulness from those people and, and obviously that's incredible for us you know people who listen to our music can take anything away from it it's just the ultimate sort of win you know to be writing music so yeah i think people appreciate that and i think they can spot like when it when it's truly authentic and um you know i think scattered was a song that really did did reach people in that way and and that's why i mean yeah it's it's beyond words i'm very humbled that people have connected with it so it's cool i'm glad i'm really glad um and the video the video is a stunner i think um a lot of people can relate to you know lying on the floor or screaming at themselves in a mirror um where did that concept come from for you yeah i think literally for us it was like <clears throat> we wanted to kind of keep it minimalist enough where it wasn't kind of like oh i wonder what what like i wonder what like they're trying to portray like we want to be like no nah, no nah, we're taking the guesswork out of this like yeah. we we're, we're, we're writing a song where you know the title scattered is obviously about feeling a certain way feeling kind of torn up feeling like you're not really sure you know what your options are and how to navigate through like i kind of wanted to paint an elliot our video um video director on this one did a great job of kind of capturing some of that bottled kind of anxiety and nervousness and yeah that's kind of what we were going for um so i think we just wanted to and do it in a way where it was kind of like straight straight and narrow yeah. um and also like you know doing it in a way where it kind of matches the mood of the song so it's just those subtle little things it's definitely my favorite video we've done yeah i'm, I'm really proud of it i think the um the simplicity or the no question marks about it makes it really impactful as well um i i watched it a couple of times in a row and i just kept picking up other different things and yeah i, I think it's really really quite a stunning clip um thank you that's, that's there are some huge vocal moments in the track um, that I think will have mammoth crowd invo involvement when you can play them live. For example, 30 seconds in, there's the line, I'd rather be anybody else. Um, and I can picture everyone kind of shouting that with you. Do you consider the performance side when you're writing songs? I think, I think we do, uh, you know, I'm definitely not as great at doing that as as rory who's um our guitarist he kind of writes with the live show in mind more than me but definitely there are moments when you're going through that process um and you do go oh yeah that part would be sick oh, oh yeah like we could do it like this and i think you kind of do want to find that again the the you know the theme of balance is sort of going like we definitely want to find ways to draw the listener in and and for what it's worth we were meant to play scattered live at our show last year um and we the times playing it through is by far one of the funnest songs we didn't get the chance to debut it but when we do i know it's gonna it's gonna translate really well and that's very very much a satisfying feeling so yeah it's it's cool to think about and hopefully sooner rather than later um you know we can get that opportunity well again it's like you know my questions because you've segued into my next one but um obviously understandably it's challenging trying to plan for the future right now especially being based in wa which i'm not quite sure is even a part of australia anymore thanks daddy mcgowan mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but uh you know staying positive um and all of that aside what can we expect from patient 67 for the rest of 2022 
it's it's so hard because like you know i feel like you've you've said it yourself like we just saw make them suffer pull out of the polaris tour today you know we saw yeah, those no. bands miss, miss miss night and day like we, like let like for me i've almost tried to separate the touring and live aspect people don't like hearing that people don't like me treating touring like an afterthought but the reality is is that until it's within our control i'm not going to start investing like emotional and like finance let alone financial energy into something that is at this point in time not within our like reach in terms of control and being able to sort of really facilitate what we're doing especially a band of our size when touring as a whole from wa is already so difficult it's so difficult and the reality is is that unless you are a band of the pull uh, of a make them suffer or you know bands of that sort of ilk you're really having to do it with a lot of certainty so without that certainty i'm not going to quite put um i'm not going to put expectations on touring as of yet however what we can control is putting out lots of music and that's something we'll be doing all through this year we have a new record right. finished we're getting um yeah we're getting singles out there there's going to be a new song next month um and, and then another new song out in may so there's a lot of stuff coming um and it's going to lead uh into our you know our first big record as band um so we're going to be you know trickling that out with lots of other content so you know, people sometimes find it hard to believe for our band, Lily, but we've only played two shows in the last two years and we've never been more active. So I still feel like there's a place for us in terms of like, yeah, being that persistent presence. You know, we've got so much other stuff planned. Um, we did our live stream last year as well. So we're going to keep connecting with people and, and you're going to be hearing a lot from us. I am so stoked about that. I have heard so many friends, um, you know, personally and professionally, People can't stop talking about you guys. So um, however you pop up and whatever is in your control, um, I can't wait to, wait to witness what we uh, what we get from Patient 67 this year. Thank you so much. Awesome. Do you have anything else you want to add? Yeah, just just thanks so much, Lily, for having us. Um, you know, really appreciate the work you guys do. And I think, you know, we're really, we're really fortunate as a band, you know, an upcoming band to have outlets like yourselves that give bands like us a chance and a platform so just thank you and um yeah for anyone who's who's enjoying the new music we love hearing from anyone who you know we're far we want to be one of the most approachable bands you know we always whenever we get time whenever i'm not on jury duty i'll answer all my messages and really really connect with people and that's that's one of our favorite parts so yeah we want to hear from you and, and thanks for having us my absolute pleasure